First and second stage PRVs. Really important thing to remember when you're working on things like boosted systems. So if we, for instance, got high pressure coming in, so for instance, you've got a booster set producing, we'll use 12 bar as an example in this one, but we need three bar to come through the, to, to, the, to the outlet. It's too high pressure reduction, the valve's gonna get cavitation, it's gonna get noise, high velocity, all sorts of issues gonna get. You're gonna reduce the life of the, life of the valve. So we need to make sure that we give it the best chance to work. And that's where we use first and second stage PRVs. So incoming pressure is 12 bar, we need three bar here. So we'd use this valve to reduce from 12 to six bar. So nice two to one ratio, the valve is working well within its working parameters. And then we go from 12, sorry, from six down to three. So then we've got, another, again, a two to one ratio and the step in the water down. So it's the same as you're driving your car, you don't slam your brakes and expect the car to stop straight away. We bring it down gradually. Both the valves are working well within the working parameters. So you're gonna take any noise, any cavitation issues out of the system. So that's where we'd use first and second stage PRVs.